which I'm pretty sure today we've got quite a long way to go up the river. I'm not sure how much of this you're going to be catching, um, but we've got quite a long way to drive or to sail or to zoom up the river before we find a tributary that maybe or maybe not um, there are elephants walking around in. That's the, that's the main goal for this morning, to try and find pick the elephants. <laughs> Elephants, of course, a lot smaller than Indian elephants that are a lot smaller than Tara's African elephants. I am so excited. I think I said it yesterday. I didn't know Borneo had elephants. Yeah. Well, they, they got pygmy elephants. Teeny tiny ones. So that's kind of the main event. Um, the chances of us seeing them, we'd say probably around about 50%. We've got a long way to go first. Okay, zoom me along there, Tara goes, wow, quick, 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 crop, crop, crop. So enormous. Yeah, so we just told the boys, hands in the boat. Let's see whether we can go and spot it again. I'd imagine it's a gone at that. Crocodile gone. Okay. I don't blame him. We saw an eagle there. We saw an eagle. Yeah, you know we saw it yesterday. It's really incredible. We got just a glimpse of it flying, a storm stalk. Probably the rarest stalk in the world. Akko was telling us they estimate that there are less than 200 left in the world. Isn't that extraordinary? That is extraordinary. Very I, lucky. I don't think I see it. Well, with the you exception. Didn't see it, did you? No, I didn't. Uh, I'm, I'm like, what, what, what have we seen? What animal have we seen that's less than 200 in the world? That must be the rarest animal we've, we've seen. Never seen it. Good boy, boat's gonna go fast again. It's not long now. We need it. Let's go. Okay, so we, we've just turned up a small tributary and we're literally bouncing over the top of logs at the moment to get through. It's still quite wide part of the river, um, but there are a lot of obstacles like, you know, we'll be to come up here. Um, and we're bouncing over the top of logs. So we think, we think um, we might have some elephants quite close by, but I don't know. You never know until you see them. Do you? The other, there have been a couple of other guides coming past, going the other way, who've been saying, "Yes, yes, they're up here." So, let's see. There is an elephant. There's an elephant. He's got a wound down the side of it. Crusoe, what do you see, buddy? An elephant? He's bleeding. On my shoulders. Wow, buddy, can you see him? <laughs> so I've had Crusoe up on my shoulders and I've had Sawyer up on my shoulders both having a good look and what's been really cool about that is um, that they both basically not fought over going up and having a look but they both when they've got up on my shoulders to have a watch of the elephant they've both been just completely silent and neither of them wanted to come down they're just like just watching and you know frankly the elephant's not doing very much it's flapping its ears um, but it must be an amazing thing to see an elephant 
not for the first time for Crusoe, he's seen lots of them, but he was very young, so this might be the first time he's actually understanding what an elephant is. And for Sawyer, well, everything's for the first time, isn't it? Pretty amazing stuff. Beautiful to watch. You set out just to make a family video, and as you go along, you kind of, you kind of start to think more about the, the nature and the wildlife and how it's been affected by uh, the global use of, of palm oil. And suddenly, it's really difficult just to make a family video. Yeah, yeah. The, the video has to somehow include, you know, we've seen an elephant just back there with a wound on it. We don't know. Yeah, it could have come from the palm oil because the elephants go into the palm oil plantations and they destroy the, the smaller palms. Um, you know, which which breaks profits down. It's a really, um, there's so much incredible wildlife here. Yeah? Like, really, you've never seen anything like it. And the forest is just epic. It's such a complex conversation. Um, Lots of elephants right ahead. Wow. They're in the forest. Look at that. There are loads of them. Wow. They're in the water. They're in the water. They're in the water. They're in the water. There are so many reasons why this moment will live in our family memory bank forever. To see the elephants is one thing, but to see your children see them just loads the experience with so much more. Our boys are two and three on this trip, and seeing them totally enthralled, sitting quietly and watching the wonder around them meant more to us than I think we could ever convey. These experiences will be shaping them into the people they're destined to become. It's why we travel with them, because by making sure that they know about these places means they're far more likely to care about them too. literally moved me to tears. I'm struggling to keep it together. It's probably one of the best things I have ever, ever seen. They're just so... I'm big, Mom. I'm big, Mom. I literally feel like I just want to jump in with them and play. It looks like so much fun. Best day ever. 
best day. I, I just, I'm lost for words. That was incredible. Wow. I, I mean, wow. All of the elephant encounters I've been so lucky to have in my life, and you say the same. Yeah. That was by far the best. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Toby and Botswana probably was my best until now. Yeah. That, well, I mean, that was insane. We had hundreds of elephants around us. I but about hundreds, but ten. Lo lots and lots. Sorry, it's got um, It was just, I think because of their size as well, they are really small. They are, and yeah. And they're just so endearing, and they were just having an absolute ball. The sounds of them, like, splashing and playing, and the, you could just literally, you could just see the joy, you could feel the joy. They were just having an absolute ball. They were having fun, weren't they? They I were definitely having fun. Yeah. And I think, following on from the conversation we were just having about the plight of the wildlife here in Borneo, you just feel so deeply for the reality of the situation here, and how lucky we are to see things like that, and how much of a kind of journey those elephants have got ahead of them. Yeah, it's quite the journey, I'm sure. But as we were leaving there, there were the parks, um, the national parks people, um, the wildlife uh, rangers. rangers came in to have a look at the elephants. And they were actually searching for the elephant that we saw a little bit earlier with the wound down its side. Um, so that's also, you know, has elements of encouragement there as well. Yeah, yeah. Apparently they're going to try and um, get hold of that elephant, um, treat, the um, treat the wound and um, put him back out uh, to go and play some more in the, in the water. Okay, but anyway, next up. Oh, well, we've just been told that we've got two options for lunch, one in the hotel, or we could go out to the local village and have um, lunch in somebody's home. Guess what we chose. We're going to somebody's home. <laughs> See you there. we've arrived um so the idea behind this um this having lunch here is uh the lady works at the hotel that we're staying at her husband's paralyzed um and the way that the hotel gives a little bit back um to this particular family is by um sending guests of the hotel over to her house to have lunch so we're, we're, we're i've got no idea what to expect to be honest um none whatsoever but I'm thrilled that we got another boat ride and that we get to go and do something a little bit different. Oh, Brilliant. Let's go, Dad. This is beautiful, isn't it? I love all the clouds. Yeah, me too. Thank you so much. Yeah, you. Yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hello, hello. This smells. We have the spoon here. Incredible. Thank you. It's like a herbal soup. Yum, yum. Let me get your spoon. Sorry, please don't wreck the place. Thank you. Let's get a spoon. Do you like it? Now, as I'm sure all parents know, getting your children to eat any kind of food is always challenging. That's it. Yep, that's a, that's a good amount. It's just like drinking water, but it's got a little bit of a different taste to it. Lunch is ready. Yummy, hey? Oh, doesn't it look amazing? What have we got here? Rice, tempeh, whatever that is, some kind of grain. Wow. You want more what? More crunchy? Yeah. Okay, taste the other stuff on your plate first, then I'll get you another crunchy thing. There you go, Kusa. You want to taste it? Yeah. Uh-uh, remember, you don't have to like it, but you need to try it. Oh, there's a bowl in the front. It's delicious, Kusa. Taste it. No, what? 
He's a bowie. It's very careful. Mm -hmm. Is it good, love? Yeah. Good what taste this bit, Dad? Taste this bit. Wanna taste oh, this bit? Yeah, that's the head. I was honestly thinking it was going to be really muddy, um, but it's not. It's kind of spicy. Look at, um, look at this location as well. Look at it. They're literally dining riverside. This is not an everyday view from a restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> it's on its Nobody way. Wow, boys. Hey, Crusoe, how cool is that? Dumbly, 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 dumbly. Dumbly, dumbly, dumbly.